Hey everyone, it's Susie with Dragonfly Bees Resale Journey. Today I am taking out the bag from that two box purchase I made, a uh, Goodwill Blue Box. I bought two five pound repurposed jewelry boxes and they both came uh, in this box in a bag from South Hackensack, New Jersey. So, taking a look at this, let's dive in. All right, to kick off this video, we're starting big. Look at this statement necklace. <clears throat> I mean, it's big. There's like three tiers on this on these pendants. So, taking a closer look, you could see that it's it's made up of, uh, there's a lot going on. The, all these colorful, faceted uh, stones and a lot of AB coated bling just coming at you. <clears throat> and it's all there. It is completely intact. I don't think this necklace has ever been worn. It's on this black ribbon, and this ribbon is pristine. I mean, there's no um, bends in it, or, you know, it doesn't look like it's ever been uh, tied because it's so clean and completely uh, unused. So, kind of gives me a J. Crew vibe, but it's not marked. The back has a gunmetal finish, and it is pristine. So, we're starting off with this big mama. Really pretty really unique, absolutely, um, yeah, this is the show starter. Let's see what else we got that can beat this. Here we have a, a vintage acrylic necklace. It's three strands. It's unusual. Look at the shape of the beads. They're round on one side, but they're, they narrow as they go up. This is separated by um, <clears throat> white and gold bead spacers. And I think it's really fun because it's different. It's just very different, these shapes. And it's in, um, it's in good condition. And there is a lobster clasp at the end. So we have this. This I would think is more like a collar necklace, necklace uh, style. Here's another vintage necklace in uh, patriotic colors. We have red, white, and blue and gold beads. There is a spring ring clasp and there is some um, copper showing on this jump ring. But otherwise, this... Uh, this necklace is in good condition. It's um, it's acrylic. And we have this. Next up is this fun necklace. It's clear acrylic. And it has this swirly bead. It's on a silver tone. Um, well, there's silver tone hardware at the end with a spring ring clasp and there is a jewelry tag. <clears throat> so let's take a look. That says Sarah Cove with the copyright symbol on the top and there is some little smudging above well, right in the center. But this is a vintage Sarah Coventry. Really fun. Clear, swirly, 
acrylic bead necklace. Okay, next we have this uh, black statement necklace on a gold tone setting. It looks to be in great condition. Oh, just needs a wipe down. There is the back. I think this is the most common piece of jewelry that we always find in um, in blue boxes. The chain is very nice. I see no um, wear. It's on a lobster clasp and it has a nice extender with a bead. So, next is this. This is very pretty. This is enamel, red enamel. And um, he noticed that some links have rhinestones alternating. These are just polished gold tone. And we come back to rhinestone ones down here. It's on this gold tone Rolo style chain. It has a nice long extender and a lobster claw clasp. So, if you take a look at this, this is what I'm talking about, these connectors. And um, all her rhinestones are there, so that is excellent. This is a very fun necklace. Let's take a look at the back. And it looks really clean. So, we have this one. And, and this one. Okay. Moving on. Okay, next set of necklaces. This one here has seed beads. It has actual semi-precious stones in the form of chips and there is a round donut shaped one on the bottom there's also glass beads it's um it looks to be artisan made in my opinion there is a lobster claw clasp and um yes so yeah, this is a, a nice piece right here. The colors are just very warm, very pleasing. So next one here, this has wooden beads, these really fun faceted orange. They look like little lanterns. And we have these coral color glossy beads more wooden beads and even more so on top there's gold toned spacers that are quite decorative and uh, there's a jewelry tag uh, this side says made in China and what does this side say that says well, depending on how you pronounce it, it says a Robert Rose or Robert Rose. So this is a Robert Rose necklace. And it's in good condition. Let's look at the um the chain very quickly on top. Okay. It looks to be like a copper tone. And there is very little wear, but we have these two. I'm liking them so far. What do you think? What do you think of this uh, second box from Hackensack, New Jersey? Okay, I grabbed a bunch of necklaces. Let's start off with this one. This is a really pretty, uh, I would say it's a pink faux pearl necklace look at how long this extender is um this extender is actually five inches long this necklace is only 14 and a half inches long um it is hand knotted 
you could see the pink thread. It's in great condition. There is a silver tone lobster claw clasp and also a jewelry tag. The jewelry tag says Cookie Lee. Okay. Cookie Lee is out of business. Um, she started her company back in 92. And Cookie Lee uh, jewelry was sold in like homes. So you would have to be like a Cookie Lee consultant and you would have home shows and, uh, you know, have direct sales uh, done that way. They would sell her jewelry at fundraisers and, you know, it's all personal shopping, um, that type of deal. Kind of like a um, Avon lady, Tupperware, you know, um, that type of thing. So she sold uh, her business in 2014, and at that time it was renamed to Vivi, V-I-V-I. And then uh, two years after that it went bankrupt. So it's, uh, it's always good to find Cookie Lee jewelry Oh, in this uh, condition because uh, they're not around anymore. And uh, I guess this is this is considered vintage. So we have this Cookie Lee faux pearl necklace in this uh, very sweet pink color. Talk about pink. Let's grab this one and see what this is. This here, oh, is so cute. These are glass beads, and they're, there's like um, beveled stars with little beads inside. You see that? The stars look like cookie cutters. <laughs> um, this is very sweet. I think uh, this would be something I... You know, maybe put into a, a children's lot. I think it's very pretty. Ooh, I see suede. But, but this is clean. This looks really clean. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so the, this is a, a nice natural color suede three strands so that way they can braid it this is nice so i believe this is a choker baby yeah i think so it's giving me some southwestern um vibes it's got these really pretty uh floral medallions And the braid is running through it. It's threaded through the center. This is really nice. And that's the back. I say this is a this is a cool piece. Wear around your neck. Maybe uh, with some cowboy boots. Really pretty. Here we have another choker, which is in really nice condition. This is on a velvet uh, strap that's super clean. There is a lobster clasp and an extender. And does anyone recognize this um, maker's mark? It kind of looks like a V, but then it looks like a N. I don't know. But let's get to this... Uh, Let's get back to this. This is nice. It's black faceted beads. And you even have these little beads on top that look like little eyes. It has a rope design going around each bead. Everything is intact. And look at the back. The back is even decorative. And there's the back. 
maybe it's reversible. Because the back also has a decorative bell. I don't know. I just find it really pretty. So yeah, this is a, a choker necklace. I'm not going to spend so much time. Sometimes I, I just r ramble. Okay, moving on. Next up is this necklace. Look at these dolphins. They're kissing. It looks like they're kissing. And they form a heart. And um, it's on this silver tone chain with a spring ring clasp. And the tag says something. It says 925A. And on the back, it says 925 right there. So, we're going to test this. We'll test this. But isn't that pretty? Look at this stunner. I was like, what? This is such a pretty necklace. It's, um, this is silver tone chain. It has this really great, it's a toggle necklace. The toggle has, you see those clear crystals? And this heart, it's pretty thick. And it's surrounded by all these crystals, too. So, looking at it, I don't see any marks. Hmm. Oh, I do see a mark on this jump ring. Right there. Um... That says 925. So this is uh, going to be tested along with the, the dolphin chain. So we can find out what this, what this is. If it is, in fact, precious metal. Okay, so let's test this. I'll take the dolphin pendant. Make a scratch right there. I will also test the jump ring, and if I could get the chain, I'll test the chain. So there's the jump ring. Um, hmm. Oh. The chain is kind of hard, but I got something. Now with this necklace, I could test the, I'll scratch the bottom of the pendant. I will scratch that jump ring. What about that toggle? And the chain. Okay. So, let's see what we have. Okay. All right. Do you see what I see? This here and this is in fact sterling silver. Awesome. Let's see what else we have.
grab some bracelets. Let's start off with this one. Wow, this one's nice. Red faceted beads, gold tone, fold over clasp. There's the back. It's like a mirrored back, foil back. This is in good condition. Um, let's, let's measure this. Uh, I would say it's about seven and three quarters. Let's see if there's uh, any marks. Let's look at that. Love that. Um, oh yeah, there is a mark and that says Napier, Napier. So this is a Napier seven and three quarters inch long fold over clasp bracelet. It's nice. Here we have a stretch bracelet. I gotta say, it's pretty good stretch. And this is cold. This is, um, this is stone, I think. What stone do you think this is? It's quite pretty. And that's how it would look on. So we have this. Okay, next up, uh, this is not an Alex and Ani, it's similar style and design. There's a little heart charm. Let's see if it says anything. Uh, it does not. And then there's a little um, rhinestone, kind of like an aquamarine color. And we have this. This is a memory wire stretch bracelet. It's uh, got black beads, some faceted. Oh, it has a puffy heart. That's kind of um, faded, but it still looks good. You got some bicones with the AB coating. This is a. Uh, this is in good condition though. It's got some blues and. Oh, it has flowers. It has some gray beads. Black beads. These are cold. Uh, and the ends have, have this stripe bead. And look at this. It's a little owl, I think, at um, on this end. So this is cute. We have this. Next up is a, uh, okay, this is a um, lava bead, black, and then it has these blue, uh, they look like, um, they look like sodalite. They are cold, but this stretch is a little bit, um, overstretched. So this will go into a craft lot. Uh, craft lots that I make are normally five pounds. And I sell them on Macari and Etsy as crafting supplies. But any craft item here will cost $1. Oh, this is a, such a pretty, pretty, pretty stone. Um, faceted beads. I think they're glass beads. And it has this little druzy, like a pale pink. Um, it's very dull on the other side. There's all these little textured rings in gold tone on either side of it. This stretch is um, a little loose also. Oh, these could be reharvested, repurposed. This color is so pretty though, isn't it? So yeah, this, um, this will be placed in the craft lot. Oh, what's this? This is a bracelet? I guess so. This is a Silvertone Omega style bracelet. 
Oh, this is by, this is by J. Crew. Um, there is very little wear on this, but you just slip it over your wrist, and that's it's pretty nice. I've never seen a bracelet. I've only seen these in in the choker necklaces, so this is different. It's a J Crew. Um, trying to get it off. Silvertone Omega Omega bracelet. Oh, look at this fun one. This is a blue and teal enamel. Silvertone, it's stretchy. The um the elastic is kind of yellow. So I'm gonna place this into a craft lot. I mean, it's not overly stretched as much, but, you know, that will go into a craft lot. Next bracelet is this um, Silvertone Charm bracelet. It has a very long extender. There is a lobster clasp. And these fun charms hanging off of it. Uh, some are glass. That's glass. That looks like a little turquoise chip. I don't know if that is real. These are stones. We have this here. A little coin. A little puffy. Um, decorative round. You have some of these. This is glass. That's a cross. This is some sort of a hammered ring more of these and uh, yeah with all that hanging off of it, it the glass makes it quite heavy um, I'll measure this one too so we have I would say that's about seven, seven and three quarters, and then you have a two inch um, extender. So, yeah, here we have these bracelets. Moving on. Look at this big chunky one. What do you think of? Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Wilma! <laughs> There's two tones of copper. Nuggets. These are nuggets. Nuggets. It is acrylic and it is vintage. There is a hook clasp. I think it's fun. What do you think? Well, we have this. Let's see what else we have. Glossy black hand knotted. These are big chunky molders. Also, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> um, all right, we have this, and it's going into a craft lot. Craft lot items um, are one dollar, and I also create five pound craft lots on and sell them on Macari and on Etsy as crafting supplies but yeah this this is going into a craft lot looks like this is going to be the craft lot se um, segment of the video look at these colors okay kind of worn really fun this one here, look at these blossoms. They have rhinestone centers. Yeah, this is all going to be um, craft lot items. Really big, 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 big necklaces. But they're fun, aren't they? Look at the colors. They're so bright and vivid. 
craft lot. Okay, here we have a group of necklaces, and they're all going to be craft lot items. The first one is a hematite cross on this um, fabric chain. And next one is this, I believe, is a Christian um, necklace, also in hematite with a barrel clasp. This is in great condition. And we have two silver tone spider web um, necklaces, and they have a spring ring clasp. Next is this really cute um, sandal with pink rhinestones, a little daisy. This is on a ball chain, and um, there's the back. Very cute. I mean, this would be, I guess these would be good for a children's lot. Well, this one would be, definitely. Uh, this is gold tone. <laughs> Can you see what it is? Uh-huh. It's that little emoji for um, uh, poopy. Here is a multicolor rhinestone um, moon, but it's on this very very coppery uh, tarnished faded snake chain and this one here is a simple um yeah this is also tarnished has a simple little green um bead on the end and then we have this silver tone one with the mustache in a blue glitter so yeah fun stuff um all going into the craft lot Next is this group of craft lot items. This one are shells. I mean, I do create a craft lot of organic um, components, which consist of um, shells and, and um, what else? Wood. Yeah. So that is a long shell necklace. This one here. What a pretty color, right? This is really long, too. And hand knotted. I don't know. Reminds me of that orchid color. Very nice. Okay, this looks like actual corn kernels. <clears throat> and next is this... Uh, I guess that was the price tag string. Um, not stone, plastic, little tubes, and a, a barrel clasp. Here we have this uh, wood, wood necklace. It's um, painted black blocks and all these shapes with fishies. And that is also um, ending with a barrel clasp. And then lastly is this uh, multi-strand seed bead necklace. Very vivid colors, red, white, and blue, and green. And that has a barrel clasp. So yeah, um, craft lot items, all of them. Okay, more craft lot items. We have this uh, bangle. I gotta say it's not too bad. Um, it says live, laugh, and love. And there, I saw a tag. Um, you, 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 you something. You bloom? Uh... Bloom. I think that's what it says. Ha 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 ha. Okay, anyway. Craft. Um, okay. Oh, wow. These are pretty colors. Very pretty color rhinestones. They like that blue green. <clears throat> but this is like sharp. Oh, someone has to get this because look at these pretty stones. You got to put them on something else. Uh, so we have this. And then this broken 
pendant necklace with the super long, very long gold tone chain. This is heavy. Um, we have this one here. Got these colorful panels. And um, it's really uh, worn, very tarnished. So this here is also going into a craft lot. Oh, look at this. This is, um, <clears throat> okay, the stretch is not the greatest, but you have these black faceted beads, and then in between are these silver uh, spacers, but the spacers have this dangling uh, leaf of some sort hanging off of each spacer. Ooh. So we have that. Um, this is a stretchy, really pretty green. Green. Oh, purple. <clears throat> purple faceted acrylic beads. This one is a stretchy too. Um, kind of tight. Has a little open heart. Pretty. Okay, these are um, real chips of um, semi-precious stones. And it has a little heart, enamel heart that says Alexandra. So we have that. And then here, it's pretty. It's still good. This is a, that's pretty. I, lo I love that red color. Oh, it's a stretch, and that's still good. And then lastly is this, uh, oh, this is good too. This is a dyed shell. Love that blue with the gold uh, beads in between. So, yeah, you have all of these going into, ha, 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 the craft lot. Okay, next we have this set. Um, what do you think this is? Let's see if any dye comes off of it. I'm going to take a Q-tip and I dipped it in acetone. So let me rub against uh, these little... stones and see if any blue dye comes off. Nothing is coming off. Just dirt. Um, hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, <clears throat> let's take a look inside the bead. Okay, so this may be real turquoise. What do you think? It's a very long um, strand, and there are no, there's no closure. Looking at this, it's about 17 inches long. So we have this. And then here, this is a oh seed bead necklace, double strand, lobster clasp. Um, very nice. It's like a pink and, I don't know, pink and purple tone. And then this one is a multi-strand seed bead necklace. Very pretty, white and natural tones this is a wooden bead and there's some oh look at that there's some of these beads and there's a mother of pearl pendant on the bottom and it's attached to a wooden back huh uh, this has very pretty um bead caps on top and a lobster clasp closure with a extender. So 
we have these. Okay, so this is the last of the bag. So let's quickly get through this. This here gold tone necklace is um, has a tiny little cross and a pearl hanging off the bottom of it. It has a spring ring clasp. It's very delicate. It's very sweet. And um, it's not magnetic, but it is magnetic where the spring ring is and also where the, um, the cross is. So that's something um, I'll test and I'll and I'll put that on the screen. So we have we have this. Very pretty. Next we have this one. Um, this is silver tone. It's like a braid design. Uh, there is a tag. It says Luna Norte. Luna Norte. But the oddest thing is this is super short. I mean, this is only 12 inches long, and there's a two inch um, extender. This here is not magnetic either, so I'll test this as well. We have this one. Next we have this ring. It's in really great condition. It's a cameo. Um, there are some crystal rhinestones and some sort of faux gemstone around it in that deep orange uh, hue. It's gold tone. Uh, there's the back. It's oddly shaped, isn't it? Um, let's see if there's a mark. Yeah, there is. It says Seta. S-E-T-A. So this is a Seta cameo ring. So let's size this for you quickly. And it is, oh gosh, because of the way it's shaped, it's a, it's really, it's not really a, you know what, let me try this on. I'm a seven. Okay. I'm a seven and it fits me. So I'm going to say it's six and a half or six and three quarters, maybe six and three quarters because it is slightly snug. So we have that. Next ring, um, very thick, kind of like a textured silver tone. It has this uh, oval of rhinestones and they're all there. It's adjustable. And there is a name inside and it says Chico's so this is a Chico's ring Wow um, let's there is a um, uh, I guess that's a what is that an adjustable type let's see what it is it's about six it's about six and um, a half yeah, so we have this. There's another ring I saw. This is really odd. This is adjustable. Uh, silver tone. Look at that. What is that? Is it upside down? Is it... It's just really different. What am I looking... It's like a raw shack test. Kind of looks like a crab on the bottom. I don't know. But, um, yeah. We have this. Whoa. It's pretty fun. And, um, this one here, I mean, since it fit me so well, is a seven. So we have this ring. Okay. Here we have this uh, charm bracelet. It's silver tone. There's lots of great charms on it. Um, you got a key. You got Eiffel Tower. More keys. Some beads. Heart. Yeah, this is very sweet. So you got this. 
there is an extender um, there you go let's line it out and let me I'll measure it for you I would say it's about seven inches and this extender is not very long uh, that's about oh maybe one and a half inches so you have this one um, here's a set of earrings um, polished uh, hoops and they are post earrings they're in nice condition so you have this oh, look at these earrings wow big pearls faux pearls uh, they are post earrings as well they look great um, that's the back you have this plate in the back and uh, it looks to be in pretty good condition so yeah we have these oh owls silver tone um, owl bracelet with a fold over clasp this here they are they have tummies that are made up of these blue um, faux turquoise beads and uh, let's lay it flat first so I can measure it correctly fold over fold over Come on, guys. Get in line. Oh, wow. This is tiny. This is only six and a half inches. So that's six and a half inches, and there's no, um, no way to extend that. But here are the owls, and they have the black rhinestone uh, eyes. I found one earring only. There was no mate. So if you get the if you get the owl um, bracelet, I'll throw in the earring. Here are ooh, look at this. These are really pretty enamel claws and they uh, button earrings. And there's the back. They have that textured design, and they're pierced. So we have that. Those are nice. Let me bring it closer so you can see. There you go. How's that? Floral design, leaves around. Very nice. And there's the back. Okay, here's another pair of earrings. Wow, these look great. Look at that shine. Um, they're J. Crew. These are J. Crew hook earrings. They look to be in um, very good condition. And uh, yeah, they have these really pretty blue and amber and like a champagne color and clear crystal rhinestones. And I put it down so you can see what they look like. Okay, next pair is really fun. These are like a yellow gold hoop um, hook earrings. You see the ear wire? And they have these green dangling beads. So you have that pair. Oh, this one. Oh, this poor Rudolph guy, he is missing a couple um, stones in his antlers, and he is a screw back, and he's missing his mate. He's cute, though. Okay, this here is a mother of pearl pink. Well, no, I think it's just a dyed shell. Yeah, this is a dyed shell. It's pretty though. And it's on this um 
it's on this cord that's really nice very nice uh, what else here's a pair of earrings they look like um, vines very thin there's the back gold tone okay what else here's another pair of earrings these are cute they have like a like a peridot color rhinestone on top and then you have these five clear rhinestones on the bottom and they are pierced for pierced ears so these are post earrings and those are pretty too I see butterflies these are two-tone they are silver on the outside and gold tone on the inside there are hook earrings and um, there's the back all right I see something let me get the loop there's something written on both of these uh, hooks so let's see if we can see that together 925 mom Jordan that looks like Jordan but that's definitely 925 mom okay this is um, something I will test but if you look at them closer you'll see they're very sweet uh, sweet little butterflies some detailing around the wings and yeah I'll test them so we have these really tiny too okay now we have these earrings they are really pretty they're enamel um, little blooms with crystal rhinestone centers that's the back and looking at them there is like a little dot there of some sort on on either one of them but I don't know looking at it closer it doesn't really I can't make it out that's what I'm trying to say but um that's what it looks like up close really pretty enamel earrings and they look to be in really great condition so we have these And then lastly, I have these tie pins. Um, this one actually looks like a cracker. <laughs> this is a, it's like a textured gold tone with a crystal center. This one here is a, um, it's an actual semi-precious stone. And maybe I'm thinking these are also semi-precious stones. Maybe they uh, alternate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. These are pins, and they all are different um, real stones. Uh, this one here is silver tone, and it has a a moose. Uh, this one has a pearl. This one is some sort of snap that has a mother of pearl center. And yeah, I really don't know. Um, these men's... Uh, tie clips or whatever you call these things don't really sell well for me I mean I put them I put them on Etsy so yeah this wraps up this second five pound repurposed jewelry Goodwill blue box from New Jersey um, what do you think 
Do you have any favorites? Let me know what you thought of this box. I am pleasantly pleased um, with both boxes, and um, I actually got them before the price went up. Um, like I said, I purchased it two weeks ago, and last week I did not purchase one, and I didn't even go to the site, to be honest with you. And then this week, when I did look at it, I noticed that the price of a repurposed um, jewelry Goodwill Blue Box is now $34.99. It was $29.99, and it just uh, went up $5. And then there's also the $5 shipping fee. Um, anyway, if there's anything that you would like to purchase, please just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. All the information is also in the description box below. I take PayPal only for now and include a description, um, you know, maybe the title that I, I listed as um, a screenshot or even a timestamp. And uh, shipping is a flat fee of $5, anything under one pound in the U.S., and I do ship internationally, and that's something that will be determined um, based upon your location. And that's something you would have to cover. So, thank you so much for spending this time with me and watching another unboxing. Please um, click that thumbs up because I'm, I'm told that really helps my channel grow. I'm so happy I just passed... Um, 300 subscribers and like I said I just started this at the beginning of the year so thank you everyone for your support and uh, click that ring that bell I guess it is uh, if you want to be alerted for my next video or any new content that I post and then also subscribe if you haven't already because that way you'll get in on these deals these deals are for subscribers at subscriber discounted prices so okay thank you again everyone have a great day have a great weekend any mothers out there happy mother's day and i'll see you real soon bye now